Part of the mystery of radiation is that it's around us all the time and we just don't know about it because we can't see it or feel it or taste it. Radiation simply is energy in motion. That's all radiation is. And we're surrounded by radiation all the time. Light is radiation. People who haven't learned about radiation or haven't had a chance to know much about it are most fearful of it. Radiation is used, of course, in medical isotopes for cancer treatment and diagnosis. It's also used to irradiate food in order to kill bacteria and to make sure that it's safe. Bananas have a small amount of radioactive potassium in them, so we are constantly surrounded by radioactive materials. Transatlantic airline pilots would receive much more radiation than I do. Of course, it's a different kind of radiation. There are several different kinds, but it has the same ultimate effect on the body. The basic principle of radiation protection, really at any nuclear facility, is time, distance, and shielding. So you want to spend as little amount of time as you can near a radioactive source, you want to be as far from that source as you can, and you want to use shielding where applicable. Shielding for radiation can be done in several different ways. So for instance, some particles or some radioactive waves can be protected or shielded against just with your clothing. Some of the shielding that we use quite often is water. So the water over this tailings facility also acts as shielding from any radiation that might be given off from the tailings beneath it. Others are a little bit more powerful and you need things like concrete or lead or steel to shield you. The two large cylindrical buildings that you see directly to my left are what are called shield buildings. Most people call those the reactor buildings, and indeed the reactors are inside those buildings, but they're actually inside several layers of concrete and steel. All you're seeing is the exterior portion of that shield building there. Right here, we're looking at the shield building wall. You can see it's three to four feet thick. It protects the public from any radiation releases. It keeps it contained within the, the reactor and the containment. So we've got the shield building wall and the steel containment vessel. If you look at living near a nuclear power plant, anywhere within 10 miles, the most that has ever been documented of a radiation exposure due to the nuclear power plant operation is one-tenth of one milliram. Milliram is an extremely small amount of radiation. That means that you would have to live near a nuclear plant for 50 years in order to get the same radiation exposure, if you will, that you get from a single dental bite wing x-ray when you go to your dentist every year. We have monitors that monitor air that's released from the building to verify that we are not releasing radiation out into the, the open atmosphere that could infect the public, the trees, the wildlife. The issue is not radiation itself, the issue is how much radiation are you getting in how short of a period of time. We have lots of programs in place to ensure that the time we're spent in radiation areas is as minimal as possible. I've been at Key Lake for almost 10 years and I always wear a dosimeter with me that monitors the amount of radiation that I get exposed to. And the total amount of radiation I've been exposed to on the job in 10 years is much less than what we're allowed to receive in one year. Just by living, you're always encountering radiation. The more education you receive about radiation, the more you realize that it's really nothing that you need to be afraid of. The issue is not to be afraid of radiation. The issue is to understand it and to respect it, just like any other energy source. Thank you.